people say things like it's a vibe. That's exactly what this place is. It's a vibe you walk through here. And the people are friendly. Just the whole atmosphere of it all is 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 unique, unique. Wampa is an eclectic, creative community. Really what we're offering people is a sense of community and collaboration that they may not get by being, you know, home alone or working in a small office in the suburbs, you know. Um, here they can interact with other creative types and enjoy the synergy that comes from that. Uh, so where we're sitting at is 3306 Charles Page Boulevard. It's just a mile and a half west of BOK Center, downtown Tulsa. Uh, this area was um, sort of out of bounds, the sort of the true outsider's spot of Tulsa, in, historically speaking. And yet it's this gem of an area that was sort of ripe for reinvention. One of the things about Wampa specifically is uh, the, the approach to kind of using um, reclaimed materials. I think that there's a lot of waste and blight in America and in the world period, and there's a lot of properties. You know, you can go and look in the strip malls and the malls that are empty, right? And they're falling apart and they're, they're kind of gone to waste. And so this approach to bringing it back to life to where people actually start building their own businesses out of a place like this is, I've not seen anything like it anywhere else in the country yet. I often at times describe it as this uh, uh, old ship. Uh, it needs constant maintenance, but it has a, a wonderful uh, appeal about it. It used to be a tire plant, uh, it has that kind of industrial, I hesitate to call it uh, cyberpunk, but it does have this kind of retro industrial feel with really updated studios on the inside. Uh, it, it's not corporate by any means. Uh, one of the things that I like most about Wampa is what's invisible here, right? So we, when we designed the place, we intentionally created a lot of uh, friction points in here. For example, we don't have much in the way of uh, directional signage. And we actually want people to sort of get disoriented and lost here because it forces you to grab somebody else and ask for directions. And when you do that, you have a human interaction that you may not have otherwise had. Particularly as a creative person, having a sense of community is what I was looking for. Uh, an artist, for the most part, is pretty isolated. Practice, you know, you're in the studio, you're by yourself, you're working with your art and your music. But I was really looking for a place where I could uh, collaborate with other people, visit with other people and talk about what they're doing, their projects, uh, creativity, and making connections. So you meet a lot of people, a lot of great things happen. So it's, and it's, again, I keep saying it's neat and it really here, yeah, people just have to see it. You have to see it. I love what they're doing here and anything that someone takes a chance and a leap of faith to produce, to make Tulsa better, I'm all behind. So come check us out.